Welcome to D-Lab. In this video, I'm going to give you a tech tip. I'm replacing the headphone jack in a Marantz receiver. Okay, here's the situation. This is a Marantz model 2325. It came in with shipping damage, so the front panel was bent in. When that happened, it broke the headphone jack. I thought, well, that's no big deal. I just grab one out of my stock and replace it. But I found out that's not as easy as it appears. So if you take a look where the shaft comes out on this old jack assembly, it's offset. Okay, so the threads were not at center. And the hole that goes into the chassis also has that same offset cutout. See, if you try to put in a standard jack, it'll jam up. So what's your options? So like everybody else, when you get into this situation, the first thing I did was went to eBay and did a search to see if I could possibly find that same headphone jack or perhaps one that had been scrapped out of a Marantz receiver. I did find one that was scrapped out, but the person wanted well over $100 for that little plastic jack. So I thought, well, that's not happening. So I went to Mauser Electronics and I started searching and looking at their different headphone jacks and I found a drop-in replacement for under a dollar. So you probably saw the jack hanging there when I started this presentation. This is a Nutrix jack, model number RJ5VM-S. Okay, the S means it has switching terminals, which you don't have to use in this application. But this jack will go right in and line right up. With the original mounting and there's a lot of room around it none of the terminals can possibly short to the chassis here is the package that it came in and i will post a hookup diagram so you can easily install one of these if your marantz is in need